Welcome to the Officer Autumn Podcast, the only podcast designed specifically for female cops in mind. I hope you enjoy this podcast episode. So today I want to talk to you about motivation to do the job. So we live very busy lives and as a police officer it feels like everything can be very soul sucking whether you work midnights and there's like the soul sucking part is just being awake whether you work days and it's like you're balancing admin plus the public plus everything else you have going on or whether you know you're fucking busy on you know seconds and it is it's a fucked up shift to work you know what i mean like you you have your mornings and and depending on what your family life look like looks like it either works or it doesn't and then like you don't get home until midnight and like you know and then you're sleeping in and i mean it whatever the job is not easy straight up um and as a woman you know we are mom we are you know grandmother we are sister we are auntie like we tend to be the rocks. We just do like where, you know, there's a fucking meme about, um, you know, husbands being, if they ever want to know where anything is, they don't fucking look for it. They just ask us. Right. And it's true. And in, while the meme is funny, but if you, if you really amplify that analogy, that's literally how it is for all of us. Like, uh, for most of us, I can't speak for all, but for most of us, I mean, that's really how it is. If anybody needs something, what do they do? They ask us. So I think it's important that we, you know, I really think it's important that like we highlight that and, and you understand that you are so much more than just the job that it's okay if you get to your job and you're not a fucking stud. Okay here's gonna here's my advice for that you know because when I was on patrol when I was on the road and on patrol I was younger I didn't have children it was just me and my husband we rented an apartment and lived with another police couple and they were fucking cool and we but we were all cops you know so the most stressful thing was who the fuck didn't clean the toilet that day you know like that was literally it rent was cheap like all of us we were literally paying 300 bucks a month and that was, that was like what we were stressing out about. Like there was nothing else for us to stress out about, right? Okay. So I'm telling you all of that because it depends on like what is going on in your life. We all have just such different lives. And I think, you know, we get wrapped up on social media on like, okay, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to be officer of the year, trooper of the year, deputy of the month, whatever the fuck. Listen, listen. You can be that, and we're going to discuss that, but also give yourself some fucking grace. Like, you're out there, and you're protecting the community, and you're being a damn good cop, and you're and you're operating full of integrity, and, you know, maybe you help younger officers, or maybe you make it your mission to go and, like, I don't know, be there for the elderly in your community, whatever the fuck. Like, just, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. And like just being there and like doing good work. I'm not saying you have to do a ton of it, but allowing the work that you do do be fucking great. Like that's hats off to you. Okay. Now, when you get to work and you're exhausted, here's what I want to say. You have got to go within yourself and you have got to find the things that light you up. Now it's different for everybody. But this is the great thing about police work that I think we all lose sight of because this is bullshit. Fuck the job. The admin doesn't back me. Fucking, you know, everything in society sucks. Like we all get down in our heads about that. But here's the truth. Newsflash. The great thing and one of the reasons why we all signed up for this fucking job is that there is so much opportunity for us. There is so much shit for us to do. We can do so much. So... When you're feeling burned out, when you're feeling like you have nothing like motivating you, I want you to take a step back and I want you to really reflect on what lights you the fuck up. What makes you excited? What makes you naturally, naturally, naturally who you are? And what were the things that you gravitated to this job for? Okay. And then work within there. Like there's so much that you can do. Let's just say you actually like working with elderly people. Well, I'm going to tell you right now 
There's not a lot of fucking cops that want to do that. And it is so needed. They need, we need an elderly liaison in every police department. The elder abuse is insane. The scams that are, you know, targeting older people and not, not even just elderly, but 60 and above. Like, you know, my, my mom is 60. She just turned 64 and like, she's got a pretty good working knowledge of the internet, but like she can easily get scammed. And like, we need officers out there helping police officers, being there, talking to them. Why did I just say we need officers out there helping police officers? Well, we need that. We need, we need what I'm trying to say, okay? If I could just stop word vomiting all over the fucking place, we'd get a lot further. What I'm trying to say is this. Niche the fuck down, okay? Point blank. Stop trying to be everything to everybody, and, and, and this is the answer. This is the answer for so much stuff. I actually just made a TikTok answering a question about a woman who's been on the job for like 14 years and she's continuously tried to prove herself. And she's like, what the fuck do I do? The answer is this, niche down, niche down. Stop trying to prove yourself in every fucking area. Like when you're new, you got to do that. Zero to fucking three years, five years, depending on how busy your agency is. Yeah, you got to do that. You've got to show that you're fucking good backup. You got to show that you're full of integrity. You've got to show like a lot of things, right? Like you've got to show all those things. Okay, after five years, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. And what you need to be doing is niching down and becoming the expert. You want to stand out you stand out. How many times do we need to say this? How many times do I need to quote myself? You stand out by doing your job, right? You do not stand out by sleeping with anybody, by what you wear, by how pretty you are. You don't do that. Like that's basic bitch shit. And you're not a basic bitch. Okay. You're a fucking female cop and you're a fucking squared away fucking female cop. Okay, especially if you're listening to me and if you're not there yet, that's where we're going. Okay, we're not, we are not basic. We are not out here trying to impress people based off our looks. We're out here impressing people based off of our fucking skills and our ability to do the damn job. Period. The fucking end. Okay. And it's the more quickly women will join me in that mindset and stop making it all about that. I can do both shit. And the I can do both shit, meaning you in a fucking like lingerie or you with your tits out and then in uniform, like that is impressing absolutely nobody except guys who want to jack off to your photos. What is impressive is a fucking female who knows that she's capable and then she can fucking do the job and she can do it better than most. That's fucking impressive. And that's impressive male or female, right? I think we've become so like, I don't even know, like we've become so like knocked down within the culture that what I see on social media are just like what women have to lean on and it's like tits and ass photos and like I'm pretty, come look at me. And um, anyways, so let's see. Moving on. We're going to tie this in by saying this. If you are exhausted, it's because you're drained because you are not living in alignment with who you actually are. I get, I'm get, i getting a little spiritual with you, but just fucking go with me. It's proven itself time and time and time and time again, not just with me, but with so many of my clients. You're being drained because you're not actually doing what lights you up. You're doing what's sucking your soul. And now while we all have to do things that suck our souls, okay? Like we all have things that have we have to do. But if you're not operating at least fucking 80% into, into shit that like lights you up, then you need to take a step back and really ask yourself why. And re, like recalculate. Like, okay, like what is it that I can do? What is it that I can do? Um, to like make itself better. How can I niche down in the job? What can I focus on? I need to refocus. So I, you know, it really is about re it's refocusing and stop trying to be everything to everybody. It's the truth. I hope that helps. That was a question that came into the DMS. If you guys want to ask me questions, come into my DMS on officer autumn on Instagram, email me autumn at autumnclifford.com. Come into the Facebook group. It's officer autumn's female cops. 
get at me on TikTok. Yeah, you can get at me on all the ways. I'm here to answer all of your shit. I appreciate you asking me your questions. I appreciate you being here and allowing me to be in your ears. I will see you soon. Stay safe.